This is Jared Taker from ECP, EC City Productions. Now this is who you are looking at right here. JT, a.k.a. Jacob Rocker, a.k.a. FTB Productions. Now I didn't want to have to do this, but this is uh, definitely needed. So, yes, it hurts to do so, but I must do it. Don't mind my voice, I am sick. And it's crazy that people have to hit me while I'm sick with all this madness, but, you know, it is what it is. Earlier today, I posted this post. And uh, the reason why I, di I did this was because uh, I wanted to defend myself, to protect myself, and protect future, let's say, future people trying to work with him. Because uh, this dude's a scammer, he's a fraud, He's a fake, and he, like I say, he's just not true. He's just, he's a terrible person, and I just want to protect the uh, pe people who uh, in the future want to work with him. Now, let me tell you the you know what led up to this and everything like that. So, um, if you haven't seen the live stream, go watch the live stream. This is going to be an after basically thing for the live stream that was on Facebook um, today. So, the few questions that were left behind after the. Uh, the live stream is uh, whether or not I paid him the $100 or whatever. Um, but a lot of people just weren't aware of what happened. I kind of explained most of it in the live stream. So if you didn't see the live stream, you live stream, you definitely have to, uh, like I said, I'm sick. Sorry, this is this is tough actually doing this. But yeah, um, if you haven't seen the live stream, you kind of go, you kind of got to have to check out the live stream to understand what's being said here. But in the live stream, I exposed him. I gave the proof and the facts. And I got a lot of people silent on there because uh, they couldn't fight my facts. Because, like I said, they're facts. I supported JT. I really did. I had his merch and everything like that. If you've seen in the live stream, I still have his merch. I wore that a lot and everything. I represented his brand. I invested in him. I tried building his portfolio in every way. And, like, a lot of people said, oh, if he was doing all this fake stuff, why didn't you drop him? Well, honestly, I could tell you that. It's because when I see somebody who's fake, I want to fix them. I don't want to, you know, just drop them because that honestly doing the right thing would be to, you know, help those who are fake, which a lot of people would uh, tell me I'm in the wrong for doing that. But I don't know. I feel like I'm in the right for doing that. But uh, that's all up to it for opinions or agreeing or not agreeing or agreeing to disagree. But uh, that's just how I feel. So I did what I did. I don't really regret it. But at the same time, too, he just did me wrong so many times. But at this point, it's finally it finally comes to where I have to drop him, and that's that's what I had to do. But I did pay the hundred dollars, just you know, because it's the right thing to do. He didn't he didn't finish or complete the videos that he said he was going to, you know, because he he told me I even can show you the text message and all that stuff that he was gonna complete them to my liking or full refund. And I got the text messages where I'm about to show you in a second, but uh. He didn't, he didn't comply with what he said. And, uh, yeah, so, like, I didn't want to pay it. So that's why I kind of gave him a little bit of a, um, you know, a struggle with him getting the money and everything like that because I was like, I'm not about to pay you for something I didn't get to my liking. It's just not, that's not, it's not what you do. If you're, you know, trying to please your clients, you got to please your clients. And, you know, he didn't, he didn't do so. And it's not even just me because he's had people in the past um, who also weren't pleased and that's why now he's only got a few clients left that are pleased with his work So it's not just me But I did pay him the hundred dollars. He did give me the two videos that he owed me So yes, we are even but that doesn't mean I will not speak on what just happened because I like I said I need to let I need to protect myself. I need to defend myself and I need to protect others from you know potentially working with him because you know, what's not known needs to be known, especially because he's in the wrong and he's a really bad person. I just need y'all to know this, you know. He lies, he betrays, he cheats, he's selfish, he's greedy. He does whatever is best for him. And that's on him, honestly, because, like, I try to fix him multiple times. I try to help him multiple times. I try to suggest good things multiple times for him. I, I called him out on things he's done wrong. All he did is get mad and, you know, try to flip it on me, basically, which is another terrible trait. Um, and it's just crazy. Like, he's, he's ripped me off mul on multiple occasions. He's, he's like, he talked, and you know, real bad behind my back, which is also another terrible trait. And, you know, the list goes on. So it, it, it's crazy. 
The other thing is, too, multiple people tried to come at me with the only thing that they could possibly think of to come at me, which is that I'm broke. If I was broke, I wouldn't have been able to pay his, um, you know, rip-off prices, which I've paid all of them. And I've even just paid that $100. So um, whether or not I'm broke or not shouldn't matter to you. It's kind of weird that you guys would bring that up, because especially because that's the only thing you can bring up. Everything else was just insulting me because you had nothing else on me. But, um, yeah, like I said, I paid him, paid him off. So, again, I'm not in the wrong um, that's the only thing I should have did, which like I said, I did and I got my video. So we, we good on that. But like I said, I, I just have to expose him for what's needed to be exposed. Now, when it comes to, uh, Dylan tool, I, there was no reason why he had to jump into the situation. Like it was none of his business. I didn't come at him first. He started sharing and commenting on posts and stuff like that that had to do with JT. That was uh, mine and JT's issue. Like he had nothing to do with that. And then he's upset with me that I'm, I was, uh, you know, coming back at him for coming at me. Well, you shouldn't have came at me in the first place. You know what I'm saying? So like, I wasn't in the wrong for that again. Like he did it to me. So yeah, I, I you know, we're working out our difference and everything. And I won't talk too much on that because you know, you know, I'll give him another chance and all that stuff. But like, it was just crazy. Like you know, it was it was mine and JT's business, and then he's you know jumping in. But uh, yeah, like I said, you know, we're working that stuff out. So this is gonna be the only post that I show you on that. It's just it just wasn't his his spot to you know come in like that. Like like I didn't come at him first. I was always true to him. But uh, you know, it is what it is. Here's the video proof of me sending JT the $100 I owed him, just in case y'all want to see the proof. Here's the proof of JT trying to convince me that he can do the animation video to my liking, and then me finally agreeing to it. And then here is more convincing that he can do exactly what my vision is for the animation video. And if you see at the end here, he also says, money back guarantee, If I'm basically if I'm not satisfied. And uh, he went against all that basically, which is crazy. Now with that animation, you know, you guys are probably like, oh, well, you know, it probably looks okay. Now I kind of, for an animation for that price that I'm paying, you know, with this, you seen as the $1,800 to $1,900 range, which yes, he brought it down a little bit, but like for that price, I should get a pretty nice looking animated animation video for that. And, um, the photos I'm about to show you, you guys are probably going to be like, that, that looks terrible for that price. Yeah, like it looks like it's worth a couple hundred dollars. And, uh. Yeah, and he said he could do it, but he couldn't, and he could have just told me that from the beginning. Like, if he didn't think he could do it, he could have just told me that. And, you know, he, instead, he just gave up on me, and then, uh, you know, told me, uh, you know, I, you know, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna give up on it, basically, you know, you can find somebody else to do it, which I asked, I said, I said, if you can't do it, I can try to find somebody else to do it. And, you know, he just gave up on me, which is fine. But uh, the way he just took it, it was just, it was, it was, it was crazy, you know? But, like, let me show you these photos real quick. Then this is him basically trying to, you know, thinking he could bully me into, into telling me when I get to pay him, when when I, when I things can go down, what, what deadlines are and everything like that, acting like he's my boss. Like, this is my camera, dude. If anything, I'm the boss. Like, I, that's just crazy. And, like, now it's former camera dude. At this point, it was former camera dude. And this former camera dude thinks he's in charge of me, Jared Taker? What are you, nuts? But, uh, yeah, so he's trying to boss me around, tell me this and that, and then he's trying to show me text message proof of what I said, and he even misunderstood it. Let me show you the full text of what he tried sending me. He thought, by me saying that I could spend 10k on a video, but I'm not stupid enough to do it, he thought that that meant that I'm willing to spend 10k on a video, and I'm not going to spend 10k on his video. Like... I bet you guys reading that can totally understand. And then when you've seen that last, you know, message that he sent me trying to basically bully me into sending him uh, the money on his deadline, that you guys, I bet you guys can tell what I'm talking about. Like, yeah, like he didn't even comprehend that message. And on top of that, too, he's, he's trying to use it against me. My own message. Thinking that I'm, like, stupid or something. Like, that's, that's it's just crazy. 
I also heard somebody's, you know, people trying to make the point of that, you know, I must be desperate, I must be broke, I must be this, I must be that. If I was so desperate, if I was so broke, why am I not the one that, you know, is blowing up his phone? Why is he always blowing up my phone? You know what I'm saying? And here's the text message proof that he's been blowing up my phone, not his. Or not reversed, I should say. So, you know, after seeing that, I hope you guys realize who's blowing up whose phone. You know what I'm saying? So, if y'all want to say I'm desperate or I'm broke, um, I think you might want to think about that a little bit after looking at that uh, video that I just showed you. Because, like, damn, if I was so broke and desperate, don't you think I'd be hitting him up like that? But, nah. You know, he's hitting me up like that. He's basically out here begging for $100. And on top of that, too, he's setting deadlines for me. He, he must be, you know, needing his bills paid or something like that. That's, like, crazy. Like, I'm not out here begging for cash, you know? Like, but I'm the desperate one, you know? Right? Like, that makes a lot of sense. But, uh, yeah, he's the one blowing up my phone, you know, trying to get my thousands and thousands of dollars and everything like that, which is fine, you know, as a business person. But, like, to be that desperate, that's insane. You know what I'm saying? So, like... Just trying to show you the truth and the reality of, you know, of all this. And, like, I hope you guys see this now. Like, you know, I got all the proof and everything like that. You know, he's, like, I got even more proof than this if we need to keep going. But, like, I hope you guys just see that, like, everything he's trying to tell you guys is a lie. But, uh, yeah, that's basically all. I don't want this to go too long. But just trying to, you know, prove my point, defend myself, and also uh, make sure that anybody new trying to go to him uh, sees the real him. And, you know, then they can, you know, choose whether or not they want to go to him or not. But... Like I said, I don't recommend him. He's a very, I'm, I'm one of his top clients. If you look at the stats and everything like that, you would, uh, you'd see that. Uh, I'm actually, I'm his top client, his number one client. You can look into that. And, uh, yeah, it's crazy. And he treats his number one client like that. And, uh, it's crazy. I mean, it's, it is what it is. And, you know, I'm better off without him, but I just don't want anybody else to get hurt like he tried doing to me, you know? But, all right. It's Jared Taker, ECP. Peace.